The airplane in this problem flies in a vertical loop at 95 meters per second, going around this circular path, so that everywhere it has a centripetal acceleration, a sub c, directed towards the center of the circle, with a magnitude of v squared over r. We're asked in part a to find the smallest radius for which the pilot's acceleration does not exceed 4 g's. We can solve this part of the problem by noticing that when v, the speed, is constant, the acceleration increases as the circle's radius decreases. So the maximum acceleration, 4g, corresponds to the minimum radius. We'll call it r min. Now we can solve for r min. It equals v squared over 4g. Substitute the values. to find that the smallest radius is 230 meters. Part B asks us for the pilot's apparent weight at the bottom of the circular path. We'll start solving this part by drawing a free body diagram. There are two forces acting on the pilot, her weight, mg, and the normal force, which is the force that her seat exerts on her. And that is her apparent weight. It's how heavy she feels. If we sum forces in the vertical or y direction, it equals mass times acceleration in that direction. The sum of the forces comes from the free body diagram. There are two of them. Normal force is along positive y, minus mg. And the acceleration in the y direction is the centripetal acceleration. At the bottom of the circle, it's directed straight up along positive y and has a magnitude of v squared over r. We know from part a that v squared over r equals 4g, so we can substitute that and solve for the normal force by moving the weight to the other side. That shows that the normal force is five times her weight. She's pulling five g's. And substituting the values shows that this equals 2450 newtons.